Hey, what's up YouTube? I was out doing a bid and uh, found a dead birch tree and I thought maybe even though I'm by myself I could just knock this out and then the crew could come along behind me and meet me here and pick it up. What do you think? Good plan? Thought so. Okay, dead birch tree. I just happen to have a little battery powered saw I can just go up there and figure that out with. We got the house, we got some shrubs, we got the lawn, which I think I can protect. We got wires on both sides. It's actually a tall little thing. It'll be fine though, we'll just break it into bite-sized pieces. Any long-time uh, subscribers, die-hard subscribers, uh, remember when I used to do this, drive around in my old green truck and I didn't really have anything of my own except what would fit in that truck. Well, I miss that truck because now I'm driving this little red car. It's my wife's car, which means she's always taking stuff in and out of it. And I don't know where my stuff is half the time. I got to run around and put my whole kit together when before I was Mr. Organized and I had like everything in its spot. Now I don't know whether the guys have my like right now I've got a 200 T hopped up by Joe Johnson and I don't even know where it is like it's on a truck somewhere 200 T modified like like the the X caliber of top handle chainsaws the the uh, the Holy Grail okay don't know where it is I just looked all over for my hard hat felt like it was a miracle and I even found it considered not wearing it because I needed to get here and I couldn't find it long story short I need to get a, uh, a little truck I need to go back to some of my old days just for the sake of order you know I do still have some cool stuff though this is the last well I'll talk about that later we've talked enough I don't want to hit that but I also don't want to move it because of my never mind I don't want to complain either what I was saying about this little saw this little bar and chain combo is it's it's the last of the panther stuff because we're I mean not forever but until they get a better product until they get a better bar we absolutely love their chains for quarter pitch nothing is as good as the panther chain there's no anti kickback stuff on it it's just heavenly what's up Damien Where's the other job? Lawn Ridge. Lawn Ridge, okay. Mary Walgrave, by Mary's place. Uh, okay, thanks. thanks, Mike. Anyway, what I was saying is they got good chain and we don't like their bars, and so we're not using their bars anymore because they wear out so fast. chain's a bit tight but it's brand new so they loosen up kind of fast and so I left it a little bit tight you know you know
do not know what that was about. I was about to brag about this saw. Because <sighs> it is typically way better than the others in the battery world. This limb just broke off recently. Here's a little something interesting you guys might, somebody might care about. So I'm in a birch tree and that's mistletoe. Most people associate this with uh, oak trees, you know. This is a birch tree. See the birch leaves? See the little birch seeds? And this here, mistletoe. What's up? Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, bye. Go to monkeybeaver.com and get one of these cell phone holders right on your suspenders. I mean, that was like such a good example of, I mean, not that you need to really be on your phone when you're in a tree, it's kind of annoying. But, I mean, that phone call was helpful because it'll get the, the skid steer here for this wood. And he wouldn't have known to bring it if he couldn't have reached me right then, right? Anyway, little things like that are kind of handy. What do you guys think? Wouldn't it be cool if I had my own kill kit again instead of showing up all disarray? Nothing to call my own. Oh, I, see. I don't regret my choices. I mean, I gave that Ford to my boy. I think that was a classy move, even if he didn't really like Fords. Old Fords, specifically. I would still like that truck. But anyway, uh, I don't have it. I do have a 78, but it's uh, it needs so much work. I just put 10 grand into it, and it still ain't reliable. So, I kind of think if I'm gonna get something, I need to get like a little Toyota or something. And I went in there, and I was like in this shark tank with the dealers, you know? It's like once you get in there, you're probably not getting out without making a bad decision. And I like somehow wrestled myself free of them sharks and bailed without a Toyota. Because I got it in my head that I wouldn't, uh, I got it in my head that I shouldn't have something else until I get rid of something I have. So yeah, that's where I'm at. But I do want my own kid again. got stuff but I mean I bought a brand new Chevy in 2021 it's awesome I wish I could drive it but it's it needs the crew needs it because you know they got to haul the water tank and the big trailer with skid steer or excavator so it's kind of And I got that truck to replace the old Ford because I felt like the old Ford wasn't qualified to tow with, you know, little minivan families on the road with it. It didn't command the, uh, the trailer enough and the new one does. So I kind of got that thinking about the crew and the community. And I still don't have anything except that thing. That's a Hyundai. 
nothing against Japanese stuff because oh wait no I think that's Korean anyway really high quality stuff but I at least want a truck is dead but I think I can trust it a little bit I can put you guys on the dead thing because you know you're only virtually there uh, there's Damien These two will just get in my way. If I don't cut them off now. <laughs> uh, my my coolness uh, approached maximum when you showed up. Why don't they back into the driveway? Cause we gotta get the dead wood out of that too. Uh. This will be all about the timing. Cut it off, hold it, let it go.
<laughs> Damien's got the new Makita over there. So this top leans back over the house, but if I get low and I have this short little tagline on it, I should be able to notch it and then pull it towards me and dump it out there with you guys on it. It's a little bit weird pulling it over your body, you know, and but it, it can be done. Can you make sure that camera's still blinking over there? Yep. Oh, that's good. I kind of put it in a place where it would have stuff that hit before it, yeah. you know, and kind of cradle it. I have these guys on YouTube that they have been raised up under a certain tutelage and they're always telling me, try a snap cut where you cut in from each side and then break it off. Like I've never heard of it. <laughs> but I occasionally do it, just not very much because it's faster and easier to go like this. Less battery, less fuel. A little more dodgy like this though. And that's what they don't like. But if you do it all the time, you're kind of You're kind of, you know, uh, good at that thing that you do. There's one for the Brits. Hey guys, Sam here with monkeybeaver.com. Just wanted to show you our latest custom saddle. 
this gentleman asked for a Dragon Ball Z saddle. More specifically, the Vegeta Saiyan armor saddle. So, gave him a couple little gold pops, gave him a nice phone pouch, and a water bottle holder, with a couple of patches on the legs. Let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see next. If you want a custom saddle, send us a message at info at monkeybeaver.com. Have a good day, guys. Monkey, be with them, them.